There he is. Hey! Hey everybody here. This is Skip Me Greek and welcome to my channel. There's a man in my attic. I swear. I heard noise like footsteps. And I can hear a manly breathing. Is he really in my attic? When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about the man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at that time. And when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody's here. There's a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out. In the middle of the night, a couple of times. I'm an adult now. And the horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. But he is my attic, is he? I hear the sound of the phone. Let's first my phone. Ah, uh, I can't sprint. Great. A slow stroll. A typical horror game, huh? I don't need to use a bathroom now. Well, I might definitely use my bathroom if I get scared of a very sensitive bladder. Uh, walking down the stairs and the phone just getting louder. Why am I playing this? I don't know. Hey, brother. I just want to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for your invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior. But you know how kids are in their imagination. She's probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Okay. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. Clean up the dining room table and take it to the dark room. Boy, I love that. Just today, my brother came to visit and he brought his family along with his wife and their seven year old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically, she's my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am a pretty good uncle, so I offer to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, show her all the cartoon channels, and let her there to watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Yeah, we are boring. Very boring. Alright. Take a deep breath. There's going to be jump scare. Jump scare. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jump scare. Jump scare. That was my first step. The night went on. Woo! My heart's beating. Ah! Getting chest pain. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak. Then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway, confused, perhaps a bit frightened. We all went upstairs, searched everything, shut the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed that she was probably just getting tired. That's a water from the sink, is it? Eventually, my brother just lists Lily's story, claims she was probably just getting tired, and left for the night. I am once again completely alone in the house. And Lily's story sounds way too familiar. This could be a jump scare. Ah! It's a game. It's not real. It's a game. It's not real. Time to get some sleep. It's a game. Not real. <laughs> Nothing is worse than a horror game of a dark house. And all the night, and let me guess, he's gonna be at the top of the stairs. There's gonna be a shadow. Ooh, I'm getting chills. Why am I playing this? I should be playing happy, happy game. Ooh! It's a game. It's a game. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Mm -hmm. 
I can do it. I'm a big brave boy. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from the doorway before returning to the attic, just like in my dream. I can do it. You know what they call me? They used to get me Greek, the coward. He's behind me. He's behind me. Search the attic. Ah! And there'll be a jump scare. I promise you. I'm getting flashback. You know, this sounds crazy. I play a lot of horror games over the years. But I've only watched one horror movie. And that was insidious. And that's not very helpful. Because when you watch only one horror movie. You know how the situation goes with this game. And when you're just walking. Oh, look at that. Boy, I'm going to go upstairs and just walk into danger danger you know what i would do i would just walk right out of the house call the cops and have them check everything everything i don't remember leaving this door open i'm gonna have a bad night if i'm gonna get a jump scare yep yep look at that a wardrobe and a cloth over an object and a light bulb you know where this is going, guys. This better be worth it. Pick a boo! Oh my god, you see that monster? Uh, I can't. I can't! Pick a boo. I'm gonna turn around. Ready? Three, two, one, boo! This is stupid. There's nothing up here. Ready? Three, two, one, boo! Go back to bed. It's just a horror game. It's just a horror game. I'm Mr. Scaredy. I'm Mr. Scaredy. I probably won't get too much views for this video. I'm just gonna have a bad night. I'm not gonna get a lot of views. You know how this goes. I'm just a man on the cross. Being persecuted. Persecuted. And I bet he's is in the closet. <laughs> I hate myself. And I am going to bed. Oh, please tell me this is the end of the game. No. <laughs> Why am I playing this? You guys have to understand. I am torturing myself for you. <laughs> Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. The dangers is search for the cause, but you won't find any that any question once more. This is just lovely. Is the man in the attic real? I'm singing. I can't move. I'm not controlling anymore. The game's taking over. Alright, let's do it. Let's get this over with. I'm gonna get murdered. I'm just gonna get stabbed or eaten or whatever. And then Sam and Dame for Supernatural is going to come to rescue the day and avenge my death for this flesh-eating monster. I hate myself. Come on, jump scare. There he is. Hey! That's it. No jump scare. Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic, or the man in the basement, or perhaps the man under your bed. Jeez, that's very helpful not to worry about three different places in my house. <sighs> Thank you for playing my specific fear of the man in the attic. So you're telling me I played this whole game, but no jump scare, nothing. It was all based on fear. And you gave me so much fear that I'm just so pissed off right now. Well, love it. Definitely better than layers and fears. No, not. Thank you for playing. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy the video and 
I feel like I'm kind of not make myself out of fool the whole time because apparently nothing really happened. But the whole point of the game was for me to be afraid and I felt fear. So mission accomplished to those game developers. All right, I'm stressed out. I'm gonna eat some cereal and go to bed <laughs> in peace, hopefully. My name is Get Me Greek and this is my channel. I'll see you guys later.